How's it going? Today we're gonna be doing an Ask IJ. For those of you that might be new here, I used to do a whole series. It's called Ask IJ. My screen name online is iJustine. That's my channel name. It's what I've been going by for the longest time. I even have a theme song. Pretty crazy. I know. So you may be wondering why I'm currently in my kitchen. Well, I just shot this Thursday's cooking video and it's baking in the oven right now. It's a very long bake time. So I said, what am I gonna do for 75 minutes? I'll shoot Ask IJ. So I got a bunch of questions that I asked you guys on Twitter and we're gonna go through and I'm gonna answer some questions for you. If you guys wanna ask me some other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And legend has it, if you comment early, I reply. First question we have here is from Bart, and he is asking, if YouTube were to shut down, what would I do for my financial income? Pretty interesting question because I started YouTube for fun, not because it was a job or it had the potential of being a job. But now people are starting YouTube videos as a career. They're starting YouTube channels for the sake of saying, this is going to be my job. So my background was actually in graphic design and video production, and I even did like 3D and computer programming and all kinds of things like that, which kind of led me to where I am today, into tech, into games, and making YouTube videos. So if YouTube did shut down, I don't know what I would do. I do a lot of branded and sponsored projects that you guys do see on my channel, so I might work or start an agency, but then if YouTube shut down, then everything that I know about YouTube and working with brands and sponsorships probably wouldn't really pertain any longer. So I'd probably become a dog trainer, even though the current behavior of my dog is not very good. Probably something with animals or design, or really I have absolutely no idea to be honest with you. Elton is asking, what is my favorite Apple device? That's like saying, hey mom, which kid's your favorite? You gotta pick one. Really the only right answer is my phone because the amount of things that I do on this phone on a daily basis, I, it basically doesn't ever really leave my hand. So if we're going for pure time used, I would say my phone and then maybe a second, my MacBook. And really with those two things, I could be okay. The clear winner iPhone. <laughs> IJ Army fan page wants to know if I got a bad scratch on my jet black iPhone, would I cry? I actually wouldn't cry over getting a scratch on my phone because I have a case on it. So the likelihood of this actually getting scratched in my current state right now, as my phone is, I don't think it's gonna happen. But if I were to take this off, let's look at it. Should we look at it? Oh, baby, no scratches yet. <sighs> oh. Like it really is a very pretty device. Okay, let's put this immediately back into its case. Immediately. Oliver wants to know if I have any Halloween videos planned. I actually have a week of Halloween themed cooking videos planned for you guys. I might've mentioned this before to you guys, but those should be going up next week. So I can't wait for you guys to see them. They're kind of just random, sort of along the lines of the summer snacks nothing too crazy or wild, or maybe they do get a little crazy, maybe a little wild. There were some mistakes that happened, but that usually happens. Can you see this brush here? Actually, I think somebody asked me a question about my hair. Hold on, let me see. Kelsey says, do you straighten or blow dry your hair straight or does it dry like that? What's your hair care styling routine? So after I get out of the shower from washing my hair, I brush it, let it dry, and then I brush it again. And this is really what happens. I also don't like to wash my hair very often, so I probably wash it maybe twice a week. I use a lot of dry shampoo. My favorite dry shampoo that I use is, not sponsored, is from Dry Bar. My sister used their brunette one before and she didn't like it because she has darker hair, so I thought, hey, this might be good for you. But she wasn't a big fan of it, so the one that I use is just in like this little green canister. And I use a lot of that stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure, I use so much that if you guys were to breathe right now, you're probably feeling the presence of the dry shampoo in my house. Although, I've got a fresh hair wash today, so I'm feeling really good. Jim Dad is asking if I'd ever make a video with Superwoman, and I most 100% definitely would. I've been in a few of her videos before, but I don't think we've actually ever done a proper collab, so that is gonna have to change. I love Lily. She is one of the hardest working YouTuber women that I know. She's incredible. I absolutely love her. So yes, I definitely would do a video with her. What's my favorite thing about the Hue lights? My favorite thing about Hue lights is I can control them from my phone. I think I've definitely talked about these lights more than once on this channel. I don't wanna change the current lighting setup that I have right now because I'm still shooting this cooking video and I have to film the end of it here. This mystery bun in the oven is done cooking. It's not a bun. 
at all, actually. Madeline wants to know why I haven't been doing as many cooking videos as I used to. Usually I do cooking videos when I do do them every Thursday. If I do post them, I post them on Thursdays. But the past few weeks has been pretty much iPhone central. So I spend most of the week leading up to the iPhone making videos about the iPhone, talking about iPhone accessories and just pretty much everything involving this suite sweet little baby. So that's why there wasn't a cooking video. But I'm pretty sure I just did one. I think I did donuts not too long ago. Do you want this luggage? Yes, I do. I need to zoom in on the, the little apples. Uh, where did you get that? That's incredible. Brian is asking if I think that there's actually going to be a huge earthquake. I have no idea. But to be completely honest with you, over the past couple of days, I've been putting together an emergency pack. In case of any sort of emergency or something happens, I can just grab this little suitcase. It's full of things for Maddie, full of things for me, a bunch of survival gear. I went so far as getting like a survival backpack kit that could help four people live up to three days. I also got this huge knife that has a fire starter in it. Thanks Bear Grylls, pretty fantastic. I got all kinds of crazy things, flashlights, first aid kits, your food, I got these satchels of water because I was thinking about it. You know, if something terrible did happen, no matter what it is, if some sort of disaster struck or my house fire or something and I was able to grab this pack of, of items, I could survive wherever I was for however long and the dog could survive. Sort of is a very important thing and it's something that I've always wanted to put together. So having people start freaking out about the earthquake was sort of my catalyst to get my life together all in one suitcase that can be just picked up and taken if I really need it. So I definitely advise everybody to get something together if you don't have something or if your parents do or you should urge them to do something as well because I think it's pretty important. To answer your question though, I don't think anything bad is gonna happen with the earthquake. I think sometimes people definitely overreact and at the high point, I think it was a 1% chance of an earthquake happening. Do you wanna say hi to everybody? Cause you look super cute right now. People will say, you're sick of seeing Maddie. It makes me very sad because look at his sweet little baby face. He is a sweet prince. What, who's calling me? Elliot is asking, when did I become such a great public speaker? Do I ever get nervous? I wouldn't say I'm the best public speaker, but I'm really good at talking about things in public in situations where I'm passionate about things or whatever that topic is. So if I'm talking about YouTube or talking about um, really anything that I'm super into or passionate, it's pretty easy. I think if anybody is passionate about something and you're thrown in front of a crowd, there will be some sense of, you know, maybe being nervous, but if you love what you're talking about and there's meaning behind it, you can do it. It's really not that difficult. And most of the time, there's super bright lights so you can't actually see the people that you're talking to. So that makes it even easier. It also comes with practice and experience. So if you were to throw me on stage maybe 10 years ago, I definitely probably wouldn't have done as well as I did now. I've been doing it for a while. So you just sort of get better. Seriously though, where do you see yourself in 10 years from now? Making YouTube videos or what? I have no idea. If you would have told me 10 years ago that I'd still be making YouTube videos and this would be my full-time job and people would now be doing this, it, it would, I don't think I'd believe you. Who knows where I will be in 10 years. I, I mean, if YouTube is still a thing that I enjoy doing, then I 100% will still be doing it. I hope that if you guys are still watching my YouTube videos in 10 years, then, Maybe I have, I don't even know, I don't know. I don't actually know and I don't like to plan. So there's that. Edmund is asking if I prefer Instagram stories or Snapchat stories. Here's the honest truth. As soon as Instagram stories launched, I basically didn't use Instagram stories or Snapchat stories. I would go to do something and I would go to capture the moment and then I just wouldn't know which to use. So at that point, the moment would be over. So as far as which one I prefer, I have, no idea either. I like Snapchat for the cool lenses and I like Instagram because I'm already in Instagram and I'm sort of just telling another story behind the actual Instagram that I posted. It is a very difficult question. I'd be curious to see what you guys think. Do you prefer Snapchat stories or do you like Instagram stories? Let me know. <gasps> That's all the questions I have. Well, thank you guys for watching. Leave me some questions here in this video so that I'll actually have questions to go back to if I decide to do another one of these anytime soon. It's always good to get a chance to chat with you guys because I feel like sometimes I get super caught up in vlogging and making cooking videos and doing tech videos that I don't ever just sit down and sort of talk to the camera like I used to. I used to have my iPhone channel, if you guys remember that, where I would just sort of post unedited daily vlogs from my iPhone. And that was a lot of fun because you sort of got to see the unedited edited version of, of me, which can sometimes be a little bit terrifying. Also, let me know what you guys think about doing some live streams. You have um, a mobile 
live stream option on YouTube. I'm super excited to try it. So I may try that. If you guys think that would be something that you might be into, let me know and I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys have a great week, a great weekend. It's a Tuesday day, what's today? Today's Monday, oh goodness. Stay tuned for this Thursday's cooking video of whatever is back here. I've also been pretty much posting almost daily videos. So if I did skip a day, I'm sorry. Come back tomorrow, there'll be a treat for you. I will see you later. I'm actually gonna go because I gotta check on this thing that's in the oven. Oh boy. Wow. That doesn't look like what I was thinking it was gonna look like. Bye. Do you think it'd be weird if we got the drone out just to get establishing shots of all the places that we went today? Um. Like I would just send it right up, just right up, right back down. I don't know. I think I might do it, but wait a minute. What? It's on HDB for everyone. It's true.